Good morning, detoxifiers. Today we're talking about water and the importance of hydrating properly, especially when you are detoxifying. Let's start by how much water should you be drinking? It will vary from person to person depending on your size, on your diet, on where you live, the temperature outside and all that, but there is a general calculation you can do that will help you know how much approximately you should be drinking. So you take your weight, so in my case it's 135 pounds, you divide that by 2. So 135 divided by 2 is 67.5. That's the number of ounces of water a day I should be drinking. So if I divide that by 8, because 8 ounces is about a, the size of a glass, it would be about 8 to 8.5 glasses. Or if I switch that to liters, it's about 2 liters a day. And that's the average that, according to the Mayo Clinic, that's what they say uh, women should be drinking. Men actually is closer to 3 liters a day. Of course, the bigger, taller, whatever you are, the more water you should be drinking. Basically, we are 50 to 70% water. As we age, interestingly enough, uh, the percentage of water content of our body goes down. So older people will more be closer to the 50% of the body uh, that is water. So they're basically dehydrated. So it's even more important as you age to drink lots of water. And unfortunately, a lot of uh, older folks will uh, neglect that part of uh, their diet. Signs that you're dehydrated. So you're probably saying, well, I'm not thirsty, I think I'm fine or whatever. So what you can look for are certain signs that will tell you you're not drinking enough water. Uh, headaches, fatigue. Now those could be signs of other things as well, but they, they could be uh, because of dehydration. One of the best ways to check is to check the color of your urine. Um, so if you can take a little jar or something, pee in a little jar, and it should be the color of lemonade, let's say. So kind of a light yellow to almost a watery yellow color. So the darker the urine, the less water you have in your body, and so the more you should consume. How to make sure that you're drinking enough water. Some little tricks that will help you. So what I do to help me consume enough water is I tend to drink more in the morning because I just part of my routine. So I start my day with a large glass of water and I add some lemon juice, usually the equivalent of about a quarter uh, of a lemon of juice and drink that right away. And it's funny because when you get into that habit, then you start being thirsty when you wake up for that glass of lemon water. Your water should be room temperature. Cold water is not good for the stomach. It actually shuts down uh, stomach function a little bit. So you start your day with that big glass of lemon water. The beauty of it is that it's good for your liver. We're detoxifying. We want to be kind to the liver and actually help it. So it gently detoxifies your liver. Then I drink that and often I'm still thirsty and I drink a second glass of water. So I've got two glasses of water already out of the way. So it's really good. Um, so some of the tricks you can use to help you consume that water. So what I do is I fill a big jug of water plus my water bottle so that together I've got that two liters of water and uh, whenever this gets empty or low I refill from this jug so I can keep a tab on how much water I've actually consumed. Um, if I make myself a tea for example then I'll once I've drank the tea, empty the cup, and kind of fill it with that water just to get an idea of how much water I've consumed. If it's caffeinated tea, uh, then don't count it as part of your water consumption. Um, so that's one trick. Another trick is if you use a water bottle is uh, to measure how much that water bottle contains and then figure out how many times you would have to fill the water bottle to get to your quota of water. In this case, uh, it would take about three bottles of this to get my two liters of water. So every time I empty the water bottle, I take an elastic, because I've put three elastics because it's three times, and I bring it down. That tells me I've drank one. Then I refill it. When I empty it again, pull down the elastics. Then I know that I've actually drank two times the water. And so on until I've drank the three bottles of water that I need to do. Some of you say, oh yeah, I know I have to drink water, but I don't really like the taste. So what you can do is you can add fruit to your water. And there's some lovely water bottles out there now that you can buy. Uh, this is one, it's uh, made by, it's called Libre, L-I-B-R-E. 
And what I like about it is you can put fruits in the bottom. And here I have some pineapple that I have in the fridge. And it's got this little mesh uh, part so that when you're drinking your water, it keeps the fruit away and you just get the water with a little bit of flavor in it. You could add uh, some mint leaves, you could do other fruits, um, you could do cucumbers for that nice fresh spa-like water. So that's one way of getting your water if uh, you're not too keen on just drinking water as it is. You should have glass or metal containers for your water because you don't want any of the plastic to be leaching into your water. Uh, of course, you want to have pure filtered water that you're drinking. You don't want to necessarily be drinking in toxins. Our whole point is to get toxins out, not accumulate more toxins. Oh, another thing is uh, you want to make sure to drink your water away from your main meal. That is um, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. If you're having your breakfast, maybe just little sips, but not the big gulp, then wait a little bit for digestion to occur, then you can have more water. So try to keep it away from your meals when you drink your water. And if you are having it some with your meal, just little sips. So now I'm going to tell you 10 reasons why you should drink water every day. Number one, it helps to regulate your body temperature. Now, if any of you are going through menopause, I'm sure that would be a very good reason for you. It also helps to oil your body, lubricate your body, especially your joints and your tissues. Very good. Uh, water also carries oxygen and nutrients to the cells through your blood, so that's important. Uh, water helps to keep your skin plump and I notice that if I haven't been drinking regularly I feel like my skin is starts to sag so water is very good for this skin. Uh, water keeps your colon happy meaning it helps with constipation. Uh, water helps to flush out toxins that's why we want to drink water because we're detoxifying so it's really good for your kidneys to help your kidney take out all those toxins. Remember because there's two phases uh, to detoxification and one is making those toxins water soluble and then excreting them through your urine. Uh, it helps to keep your blood flowing so that will help lower your blood pressure when your blood is flowing well. Uh, it helps you lose weight. Drinking water regulates your appetite and increases your metabolism. Big plus. Uh, it helps with digestion because you need water to produce those gastric juices that you need to digest so you have to have that water. And finally, it helps with energy. So you need water for your metabolism and metabolism is also what helps you get that energy production. So 10 reasons uh, why it's so important to get into the habit of drinking all that water.